Christmas is meant to be the happiest time of year. I think we all know though it can be stressful around the yeah. holiday season, but it's important to manage those expectations and that is the focus of today's morning original. These are stories you see first here on Wake Up Central and our Michaela Johnson joins us now showing us some ways to cope with the pressures that go along with the season. Michaela, good morning. Good morning, Karen and Hayden. Even the most joyous of holiday seasons can cause stress, not having enough money, missing loved ones and anticipating family conflict. These are the most common stressors this time of year, but there are things that can ensure the stress isn't the star of the holidays. Christmas time is known for holiday cheer, but that's not always what this season deals out. It's supposed to be the most joyous time of the year, but you know, the reality is that it's stressful. Money, gifts, and family gatherings each have expectations tied to them this time of year. Therapist Natasha Thorne says in this post COVID era, seeing family can be hard to navigate, uh, especially when you uh, have not seen the family members in a long time. Um, and when it's just so much going on around you, it can be overwhelming. On top of that, wanting those same family members to have gifts can also cause stress. That's always been a thing. You know, um, uh, that stress of wanting to have the perfect Christmas. Thorne's biggest piece of advice to not go into debt to make this a perfect holiday. Keeping in mind that the holiday is more than gifts and presents. Get creative and stick to what you know. Leaning into more of the family aspect of it, doing the homemade gifts. Thorn points to another hard reality of the holidays, missing loved ones that are no longer here. You have the hustle and bustle of the holidays, family, affording presents, but also on the flip side of that, there are people who have lost people. While there's no one way to fix that pain, there's no really just cookie cutter approach. A support system and asking for help when you need it can play a significant role. Embrace being okay with getting the help that you need. Whether it's grief or managing the laundry list of holiday expectations, Thorne says don't overfill your plate. Doing what you can without overextending yourself. Well, you know, we, I think we all can agree the holidays can be very, very uh, stressful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right? you know, and it's just there's so much to do and you you want to bring as much holiday right. cheer, but that's not right. always possible for everyone. Mm -hmm. And Natasha, she also said that 988 is a great resource if anyone is really struggling this holiday season. Mm -hmm. They are 24-7. You wow. can text or call whenever you need you them. You can text? Yes, and so whenever you need them. 988, super simple. But also she says that, you know, maybe the holidays really are too much and you don't even want to really be around yes. people, mm -hmm. but you still want some kind of connection. Yeah. Call someone that you're really close to and mm -hmm. get that holiday spirit that way or be the person that reaches out to them and makes that call as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Many people may feel forgotten and if yeah. you take that one effort, it, it spread. What is it that pay it forward? Yes. There you go. There you go. Well,